Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel and hello to February the 4th, February the 4th, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're up dressed and ready to go and get our cars fixed, well not fixed, mine serviced and something to Ian's, whatever. So yeah, don't really know what the plan is after that to be honest, it just play it by ear, see how long this takes and yeah, see how the day goes. So I'll catch you in a bit. So I've had my car done, it's a lot later now, um, and I went to Aldi to buy some yarn or whatever. Um, today they had their special buy and it was wool, it was a knitting loom thing, um, a magnifying light and like fabrics, like fat quarters and things like that. Obviously not into sewing, but <clears throat> I thought I'd show you what I got, but before that, the other day I went to Pam World and I picked up some of this yarn and I thought this was really really cute and obviously boy colours so I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet it's one of them I haven't really thought of anything <laughs> um, I picked up three of these because they are buy two get one free so I did get three of these because I thought they were really cute um, then today in Aldi if you see the teddy bear that I made my sister I picked up some more of that yarn which is really really soft um, I'm sorry about the crinkling I don't know whether you're gonna be able to see it's like um, the burn burn out baby blanket stuff um, I got one in that color and I got one in that colour because I thought that's quite girly, that's quite a bit of both really, a bit of boyish, um, or a bit boyish. Um, <laughs> so I thought I would get one of each because then I can make more teddy bears or I was thinking of making um, an octopus with the other colour yarn um, to go with the teddy bear and I know Sean has done a, a huge octopus is it, oh, yeah octopus um so i was thinking of doing one of those but i really like this color it's like white purple and pink really nice matches my nail varnish um i don't think i showed you these yesterday in the end but yeah that's them <laughs> then i really like the aaron from aldi so i picked up a really nice light gray um it's a bit lighter than what's showing up I think because of the light um, but it's a really light grey and it's got like darker fibres in it can you see that like, very slightly darker fibres and then to go with that what colours do you think I got pink <laughs> um, they had a ball of this as well so I got one each of these so I just got four in total I think these were $3.99 and the fluffy one was $3.50 I think I'm sure uh, but these are Aaron the code number for the pink one is K764 and for the grey is K1000 I don't think the other ones have got colours on them. No. Is there a name on it? Uh, lilac, purple and white dot. That one's called. And this one is called Blue Lemon and Lilac Stripe. Ooh. Um, yeah, so that's what I got. I did take my jumper to work on today, but... We wasn't really at the garage for that long, so I didn't pull it out. So I'm definitely, definitely going to be finished that today. Or at least do the sleeves. And I was thinking of crocheting it all together instead of sewing it. So, mm, leave me your opinion down below. Because I don't know whether I'll be sewing it up tonight or tomorrow. So, leave me your opinion on what to do down below. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking of like single crocheting it together on the right right sides together so that I get a seam on the inside I don't know 
I was thinking of doing it that way and I think it might be a bit easier because I hate sewing things together. Um, but yeah, we've just literally got in. So yeah, it's quarter past four. Um, but I just thought I would quickly show you what I bought. So today we have decided to have the pies that I made the other day. So I thought I'd quickly show you. So this is what they look like. They look really yummy. Um, they were already cooked, so they were in the oven for an hour on low, and I just needed for them to be defrosted, really. Well, warmed up <laughs> uh, as they was already cooked, but I have left them um, without the tin foil on for about 10 minutes. So they look really yummy, but the proof is in the taste, and I will let you know after we've eaten, we've just got some chips and onion rings. So it's half past 12 near, half past 11 nearly, um, and look what I'm wearing. Woohoo! I've actually finished it other than the neck. Um, I'm debating whether just to do like one or two rounds. And Ian actually said, why don't you do like a big roll neck type thing? So I'm thinking to do that, but I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to show you it in the mirror. So this is me wearing it. Excuse the mess around. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's really long. I think I need to block it out because it is a little bit tight. But if I go like that, it does actually sort of pull out. So I think once it's blocked, the top is fine. And the sleeves are like really big. Um, they're like absolutely humongous. And that, look, can you see? I've actually folded the cuff over. But I think it would be okay. Not too bad. Um... But I'm just going to block this bottom bit out. Excuse my pyjama. My pyjama bottoms. <laughs> but I'm really, really pleased with it. And I'm so glad that it fits. So yeah, it's just going to be a case of... I don't really know. Um, I'm looking at myself in the mirror still. <laughs> um, yeah. The other thing, dinner was absolutely delicious. The homemade pie that I did. Oh my God, it was so nice. Um, whenever I cook something new like that... I always get disheartened towards the end because I think what if it tastes really horrible but it was really really nice so um, I'm going to decide what to do about the neck I really don't know I might just put like um, the little neck on if you look on the front cover of the magazine it's just like a couple of rows so I might just do that and see what it looks like. Um, but I'm so pleased with it. I'm so, so pleased. The top is fine. It is like a little bit big. But I think it's the yarn as well. It's really stiff. Um, this was yarn from B&M. So, but I'm really pleased with it. Like the, the actual colour work is really soft. Because that's all different um, yarn. But this is quite stiff but like I said I'm gonna block it I'm gonna do a couple of rows of the neck tomorrow see how I get on see if it fits okay and then I suppose I can always extend it and if I don't like it pull it back I might do that as well so um oh I've just got loose ends everywhere um that's it for today I'm gonna to go to bed because I'm tired tomorrow my sister is being in um induced Hopefully she's got to ring the hospital at half past 11 to find out whether she actually or the hospital's got space for her to go in and be induced. So that could be happening tomorrow. Baby on the way. Yeah. So I'm going to go. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Um, thank you for subscribing to both of my channels. Um, if you do, if not, then that's not a problem. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.